Hello, hero. Well, I am back out on the neighborhood trail, and this week I want to talk to you again about my amazing mumbo jumbo. But this week, I want to talk to you about our brain's blind spot and how we fill in the gaps. Amazing. This is year two, week 23. Let's first do an experiment. Let's find your blind spot. And it's real easy to do. And we're gonna use it using this graphic that I'm gonna put up here on the screen. And I'll show the graphic when we get started here for about 10 seconds and you can always pause it. So that way you can play around with the actual position of either yourself or your tablet or your phone to find your blind spot. But using this small image here, or this very simple image, we've got a crosshair and a black circle. And so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and close your left eye and focus your right eye on the crosshair. And then depending if you're on a phone or a tablet, you wanna actually move the phone or tablet away from you until the black circle disappears in your peripheral. That's your blind spot. You do the same thing if you're sitting at your laptop or your computer monitor or your TV. Close your left eye, focus your right eye on the crosshair, and then move yourself until the black dot disappears. And that's your blind spot. Amazing! So, that's where your blind spot is and so now it's I have a blind spot and I kind of know where it is but we can make the graphic a little more interesting so now I'll put this graphic up on the screen and as you can see the horizontal line for the crosshair now expend, extends all the way to and through the black circle so let's do the same thing. Let's close our left eye, focus our right eye on the crosshair until the black dot disappears. And of course, that's your blind spot. But have you paid attention to what's going on in these experiments? In the first one, when we had just the crosshair and the black circle, when the black circle disappeared, everything became white. But that's interesting because if it's our blind spot, it means our eye shouldn't be getting any light, which means we should just see a black dot still. But instead we saw all light or white. Amazing. And then when we did the second experiment with the extended horizontal line, when we did that in the black circle disappeared, in our peripheral, we still saw a solid black line. There was no gap in the line. Amazing. Well, let's go ahead and do another experiment and let's just change the image. So now what we've got is we've got an image here with a crosshair, a bunch of red dots, and one black dot. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Let's close our left eye, focus our right eye on the crosshair until we find our blind spot and the black dot disappears in our peripheral. But wait a minute. The black dot actually didn't disappear. The black dot actually has become a red dot so when we think we shouldn't see anything we saw white <laughs> when the black dot disappeared with the line the line still was a full line it didn't have a gap and now we did it with the red dots the black dot became a red dot <laughs> amazing so what's happening here 
Well, what's happening is that our brain is filling in the gaps. It is taking cues and information and data from around us and it's guessing, it's filling in the gaps of what it thinks it should be seeing. <laughs> Amazing. So let's do a few more experiments here with the images because now this is just kind of, well, this is just amazing. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's just do, oh, and if you haven't bothered to care <laughs> or even just figure out why orange is the color of Uncle Mike Mike. Well, the reason orange is is because orange is of the sunset. One of my, actually probably my favorite time of day is sunset. And I like green because, well, there's always that elusive flash green right at sunset. So that's why green and orange are my favorite colors. So let's take a picture of a sunset with the same crosshair, with the same black dot. And let's do the experiment again. Let's close our left eye. Let's focus our right eye on the, the crosshair. And then the dot disappears, but now we see a complete sunset. The brain even takes that sophisticated, that detail of the sunset and fills in what it thinks it should see. So in all of this amazing mumbo jumbo, what do I do with that in my own life? Well, basically, I can't trust what I'm actually seeing. I need extra data, extra information. So like out here, out here I'm in this beautiful woods there are patterns out here there are leaves and there's green and there's brown from the trunks and there's squirrels and birds and all of this and so i might be seeing things that are there and that aren't there because my brain is taking the patterns and then basically filling in the gaps which leads us to like things like camouflage Right? I think I'm just looking at a tree, but then there could be a squirrel right there. But my brain is literally like, no, you should just be seeing the trunk and it fills in the gaps. And I never see the squirrel. So in my own life, part of this mumbo jumbo is knowing this and really taking this into account because I just don't Sorry, we got a old tree down here from the storms, so I gotta divert a little bit. But knowing that my own individual brain, amazing, my own individual brain fills in the gaps with the blind spot. Absolutely amazing, right? It's just so, so what do I do? Again, I don't, trust. I don't want to be that naive person that takes one piece of data, right? That just takes, it just says, oh, this is the way it is. Whether it be like a Twitter post, a Facebook post, a YouTube video, whatever it is. I don't trust that because one, I know that our brains are filling in gaps and we see these patterns and we just think what we see when in all reality that might not be what is actually there amazing stuff so remember thumbs up because you are amazing subscribe and chime that bell to get notified because i am your favorite youtubers favorite uncle i am uncle mike mike